It is April in Yellowstone. This is Azim. We documented him last year. They begin their journey to higher elevations, where the vegetation is best for raising their future calves. The Sunridge herd has gained a member since we documented them last year. Azim is now a sub-adult, the teenagers of the animal world. He has even started growing his antlers. Males and females prefer to stay in groups of their own gender unless it is mating season. Elk herds are matriarchal with the experienced female leading the herd. Males prefer to stay at the back of the herd. They ascend up the rocky terrain. However, they have an unexpected guest. It is a male cougar. And he is looking for a meal. Elk make a short bark sound that is used to warn the herd of potential danger nearby. This can also include loud bugling sounds. Some make it out alive. Others aren't so lucky. After a couple of days, they are found moving across the side of a mountain close to Caldera. Elk are the second largest species of the deer family. Males range from 317 to 498 kilograms and females 260 to 283 kilograms. The herd still has a long journey ahead of them. It's five days later, and the herd has made a lot of progress. They trot across the grassy landscape. A female elk is called a cow, and a male elk is called a bull. After a week and a half of traveling across the mountainside, they arrive in an open valley. They drink for the first time in days. The Sunridge Elk Herd still has a long journey ahead of them. 
but they will do what they must to ensure the survival of the herd and future babies.